Hello everyone. In my past two videos, I showed you how to convert PSD file into HTML document. And also, I showed you how to create animated web banner using AnimateCC. So if you have missed my two past videos, uh, I recommend you to watch those videos first. And today we're going to combine those two into one HTML document using Dreamweaver. So that web page we're going to create will have the animated web banner and it's going to be more functional. So let's get started. Okay, so this is what we made last time, the converted file from the PSD to HTML. So we saved as the index, index.html like this and then on the images folder with all images we sliced. So. Let me uh, open this file in a web browser, which is this. So this is what we made. And then um, there is no function, so nothing's working. So um, the plan is we're going to convert these five menu buttons as a rule over image button. So that means uh, when you uh, hover your mouse cursor over home, events, trails, gallery, and contact button, and it will change color. So um, uh, people can um, notice uh, this is a clickable area. This is a button. So first, so that's the first thing. And next, we're going to replace this image banner with the animated web banner we created last time. And the last, we're going to change this text block with the actual text using Dreamweaver. Okay, so first, uh, let's do this. Uh, first, you know, we need to uh, open oops, this index.html file we created from PSD file. And then also we're going to open this file in Dreamweaver. And then we will uh, define the site. Okay, so that's the first thing. So select your index.html and hold on the control or right click and open with Dreamweaver, Adobe Dreamweaver. Okay, so it is open. Um, so first thing is, uh, we're going to set the proper pathway to my root folder. So uh, when we import the images or anything else from um, uh, from my root folder, so we can keep the, uh, the correct path. So go to site menu, new site. And then once you open your file uh, in Dreamweaver like this, uh, site setup. Site name could be anything. So uh, I will name it as Acadia National Park, ACNP. And then my root folder is this. Okay, Acadia folder. Choose it. Then go to advanced settings, local info. And we just need to define the local info uh, images folder first. The very first field, click on the button and choose your images folder and choose it and save it. So we can confirm if I have the uh, my site definition correctly under files tab. So my site name is ACNP Acadia National Park, which is under my uh, external hard drive and the images folder there and also have index.html so it looks good so now leave as it is so first i will need to uh, create uh, five more images for uh, rollover images for each button for home events trails gallery and contact so um let me open my root folder and let me open my um home.jpg the first button so this is my home button. So uh, you can change the color in the uh, any other ways. Maybe you can just simply convert it, uh, Command I or Control I, something like this. Uh, or let me try this under Images menu. I'm going to choose the Adjustment and Channel Mixer and Output Channel. I'm going to choose the uh, the green channel and let me change it just the green uh, value down to, just to make it easier, 50. 
Okay, so the original was the, uh, the black letter on white, and now it is the black letter on purple. So that means when I hover my mouse cursor over white, it will change it to this purple. Okay, so go to file, save for web as JPEG medium is okay. I'm going to save it into my, uh, um, not in here, my carriers images folder. I'm going to save it as a home number two that JPEG. Okay. So same way, I will repeat the same steps for other buttons. So home and events. Let me go to adjustment and channel mixer. I will do the same thing the green channel set this to 50 and command option shift s save for web let me save it as events number two dot jpeg in the same folder contact image adjustment channel mixer green channel and change the value to 50. Save for web as a JPEG medium contact number two dot JPEG in the same folder and I guess I have two more uh, gallery same way adjustment channel mixer and green channel down to 50 save for web as a jpeg medium and gallery number two oops number two and i think i'm missing one that must be somewhere on the trails that's the one I was missing okay image adjustment and channel mixer and green and 50 save for web as a JPEG trails number two dot JPEG okay so now each button has the two images home home two Trails, Trail 2, Gallery, Gallery 2, Contact 2, Events 2. Okay, now back to uh, Dreamweaver. Okay, so now um, I'm in Dreamweaver. <coughs> Excuse me. So we save the, um, uh, each button as two different images. Home.jpg, Home 2, Events, Events 2, Trails 2, Gallery 2, Contact 2. So <coughs> let's change this image as the kind of rollover image button. So first, Select your home button and go to Windows menu and open behaviors. Behaviors. Get rid of it. Okay, then click on this the add behavior, the plus button, and choose swap image. Okay, so this is my current selection. And then browse home number two, which is this. Home number two. And just to say OK. Then what's going to happen is uh, when I uh, hover on this home button on white one, and it will change into uh, the purple. So let me save this file. Save it. And let me double check. Refresh. Home. See? It is working. So I'll repeat the same steps for the events, trails, gallery, and contact. Okay, back to Dreamweaver. Now select the events button. Okay. Add behavior. Swap image. Browse. My events number two. Dot JPEG. Open. And okay. Let me make sure. Save it. 
refresh home events home events okay so I'll repeat the same step for the other threes trails swap image browsing trails to open okay and the gallery select the gallery button add behavior browsing gallery <coughs> gallery number two okay now contact add behavior swap image and opening contact number two open okay save it <clears throat> let me refresh my web browser home events trails gallery contact okay so my rollover button is working now I need to replace this banner image as the animated web banner we created so this is what we made last time Acadia National Park okay so I have the same size as the my image banner so first make sure you save this file and then go to files menu and choose the unpublished settings okay uh, first make sure check the end this the OAM package uh, the checkbox okay so this is the file format um, we can cooperate with the Dreamweaver for the animation so output name and then on the my destination will be uh, Acadia National Park Acadia this is my home folder root folder and then let me just save it here I'm going to save it as a carrier banner. Okay. Then save it. Then click on publish. Okay. And okay. And let me check my root folder under a carrier C. I have the Acadia banner dot OAM dot OAM file. That's the one we need. So now back to Dreamweaver. Let me close this. Now select image banner, banner image, and delete it. Make sure that you're seeing that kind of a blinking mouse cursor in that area. Then in your insert panel, if you do not see this insert, it is under Windows menu and insert. Then uh, you're gonna see that uh, one menu option is called animated composition this one so click on that you will see the OAM that's the only file you can choose and open it so it is inserted and one thing happen is see the uh, the properties panel if you do not see this properties panel it is under Windows menu and properties in this properties panel uh, I'm selecting my uh, AN animated file and then um, this is the information about it and you see that uh, difference different the yeah, dimension it is supposed to be 1200 pixel by 400 pixel that's uh, the size of my movie my document see 1200 pixel by 400 pixel so when it is imported into Dreamweaver, uh, by default, it has the other 10 pixel around. So let me back to original size, 1200 pixel by 400 pixel. Okay, save it. Let me refresh. See? So I have the banner my rollover buttons working and I have the other repeating the looping uh, animated banner so it looks way better now okay now 
let me change the um, uh, this text. I will change the just the first block here. So back to Dreamweaver. Scroll down. Okay. As you remember, uh, we saved uh, that area in Photoshop as a blank without image. And then we just uh, typed the other dummy text like this as a placeholder. So you can type anything you like. Uh, if you the, uh, hit the return key, it will make it a double spacing. Or if you hit shift and return, it will keep the just a single spacing. Just like this. Okay, and I want to have there some kind of uh, uh, headings uh, of this text. So let me hit the return on top. I will name it as update. And then let me highlight it. And let me change the format in the properties panel from paragraph to heading one. Okay. And I may type some more, blah, 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 maybe more, and period. Okay. All right. And also, if you want to change your text color for headings, what you can do is open page properties. Okay, and then you will see the headings. So my heading one color is just a default at this point. So let me change it to maybe um, kind of a dark red and say okay. So now we have that color. Let me go back to file, save it, and let me refresh my page so I have a text. So now I have all roll over button images, image buttons, and then uh, my um, animated banners there, and I have a text block. Also, one last thing is I want to make a link to uh, from this the SNS button from Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. So let's make a link from the Facebook. Um, from my Facebook page, let me copy this entire URL. And back to Dreamweaver. Uh, in the link field, my Facebook pay button is still selected. Let me paste it. And then, next field is a target. Okay. The target will define where you open your link to page. So uh, normally I choose the blank. So that means uh, it will open your file in a new tab. So let me save this file and refresh. Oops, not this one. Refresh. When I place my mouse cursor over Facebook, you see that mouse cursor changes to finger point. Click. Now it opens Facebook page in a new tab. Okay. All right. So in the same way, you can make a link to Twitter and the YouTube as well. So um, uh, we started from the, the PSD, the, uh, the Photoshop file, as a kind of prototyping. And then we used the slice tool and converted and export as HTML document. And then we opened it in the Dreamweaver and added some function on it. Linking, rollover buttons, animated banner, and editable text. Okay, so that's it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this, and thanks for watching, and see you next time.